Hello and welcome to another Cardboard Prop Company paint demo. Today I'm going to show you how to make and paint one of these, which is the uh, new version of the EVA foam style turtle shell stone effect buckle. Okay, the original was made out of cardboard, uh, covered with tissue paper, then PVA glue, and then painted up. But this came to me the other day, it's a lot quicker. I do it's EVA foam, so it's nice and bendy, it's a lot safer. If you're making this for a child's costume it's very simple to make um, I'm going to show you all the bits and bobs you need to make it and I'm going to make it all in one take just about in this video okay so to make this effect we need some usual EVA foam floor tile the old gym mats these ones are 8 mil thick if you can't get grey um, use some acrylic acrylic paint to paint it grey to start with because that will um, speed the process up a great deal but this one's grey so that's what we're going to use and then we need a roll of sellotape to draw around obviously a hot glue gun to glue it all together and then some paints acrylic paints we've got black brown and then white so it's only three colours in this to get the full effect uh, and then I've got three paint brushes today got a thick one for the white a medium one and then a thin one for the black okay and as to finish it all off, a very sharp craft knife. I would recommend a new blade for this because it gets the job done nice and quick. So if you're a youngster, probably get an adult to cut it out for you. Maybe even do the hot gluing. So here's how we make one. So we get our roll of sticky tape. And we get a pen. And then we draw it all the way around it. Voila! Then we put it back on and then we draw around the inside as well. If you haven't got a roll of tape, you could use a big can or something like that. As long as the gap there is about 10 mil or one centimeter, that will be fine. Then, as we're doing a turtle, I might as well for once do actually use a proper turtle initial. So we'll do Donatello today. Now bear with me on this one because I'm actually drawing this while I'm on my side. So I can whip one out from under the counter saying here's one I made earlier. Not too bad. Now we get the craft knife and cut this out. So be very careful, keep your hands well out of the way of this sharp knife. Don't want to lose any fingers. This is where the uh, new blade really comes into its own because if you've got an old blade, it does tend to drag and tug at the foam. There we go all the way around. And there we have the start of the belt buckle then. We cut the next line out. So while I'm doing all this, I've got the glue gun on, so it's nice and warm, ready to go. When we come to stick it together very shortly. Uh, plus, because these don't take too long to make, you're not going to be too bothered if they break or you lose it at a party. With there being an injury in the park, you can soon make a new one. So that's the inner ring done, and now we have to put the D out. Be very, very careful here. You don't want to slip and slice through the phone because then you've got to start again. And again, we don't have to be too accurate because we're meant to be looking like it's carved out of stone. pop it out and then we'll cut the middle part out again watch your fingers
pop. So I'll put my knife away for the moment. So there we have the four parts. Now I have to stick it back together and paste it together so we can form the ridges. To do that, we take piece number one, pop that back in, we get the D and then the middle part, and then we push the inner section back. So if the foam's eight mil, you want four mil sticking out the back, we we'll push the D back up again, and the middle bit back down. Now it might be a bit loose at this point, but doesn't matter because we're going to hot glue it stay in place very shortly. You can already see it starting to come together slightly. So then we'll get our trusty glue gun and glue it all back into place. One final check. And I'm working from the middle out. So you don't actually burn your fingers then. Get some hot glue on here. Preferably in shot, so you can see what I'm doing. So just run it all around the edges. Got to reload there. While this glue is drying, you can get the paints ready. And like I said before, if you've got a youngster making this, then probably get the adult to do the hot gluing. And while that's drying, get our paints ready then but as you can see it's already starting to sh take shape pop that out of the way so I've got my paints I don't need my pen anymore so I've got some black a little bit of brown and some white so we don't need too much so we're going to use the same dry brush technique that we used on the turtle shell if you don't know how to dry brush there's plenty of um, other tutorials on here on how to do that. Trick is very little paint on your brush. So here we have the one we've just made, and here's the one I made earlier. As you can see, we've got some cracks and a bit of damage on that. So we need to add that onto this one before we begin painting. So using our trusty craft knife again. Uh, we'll do a similar sort of design. All you do is just chop it out, being very careful. Give it a pull, you can even like draw a line across there and follow it where it would actually come through the other part of the letter. Again, really, the rougher the better works on this. Makes it much, much more natural. You know, when we get the paint in, no one will ever know. Put a bit more chop in there. A few more in. Let's see. You don't have to copy this one as it is. You can do whatever you want to do. You might not want to have any battle damage on. You might want a nice pristine looking one. Who knows? It's up to you. It's your belt buckle. You can have it how you like. We'll do a couple more down at the bottom here. Yeah? 
Why not here? Eh? Another one through there. Then we get to the fun bit then. Painting it. I'm do a few flecks. Just be very careful with, with the knife that you don't snap the blade. One inside there, why not? Eh? Just for luck. So there we go, that's it all chopped out, and then we'll get our paints, pop that on here, and then we'll get the painting done. So, we'll start with the black, so you don't want too much on your brush. We're not actually painting the whole thing, all we're doing is then going in all the, all the crevices, all the edges on the inside, because it's going to form part of the shadow and give a piece some depth although it's already in 3d because we've stepped it this just this just adds to the adds to the effect so anything that's been cut out get some black in there again don't have to be too too neat uh, obviously where you put the holes as well the trick is just not don't put too much on so it'll take forever to dry and when you come to mix the other two colours on the top it'll just be one big black mess inside the D and then round the edge of it as well Again, this is great for the kids, because like the tail show, they can slap it on. Now the colour will fade a little bit, because the foam does suck some of the paint in. Um, but I won't worry about that too much. Ooh, a bit of brown on my brush there. Not to worry, because the brown is coming on next. So while that is still wet, then we need to apply the brown. So the colour's actually mixed on the actual piece itself. So we'll get a brown, slightly bigger brush, and then we don't want to totally ob obliterate all the grey. So we're just building out from the black. the brown to leave some, do leave some grey and then when we come to put the white on it will blend all this together and people think you spent hours I was doing this. We know differently. Then, with a the bigger brush, we'll get some white. Get some white on there again. Don't, not too much. Let's just start off with a little. So again, the dry brush technique. So take pretty much all the paint off the brush, and then we just build it up on the edges. And then that will mix the brown and the black and start to form all sorts of different colours that you would have to spend ages mixing together. And it pretty much does it all for you. So as you can see on that part there, it's really starting to 
take up the stony effect. Hope it's coming out of the camera okay. I'll spin that around because it's easy for me then. As you can see it hasn't taken us that long and we're nearly done. Not quite a minute Meg. Not far off. Again, gently brushing over the the edges so it catches only the high points. Let your brush and the paint do the work. If you get paint paint on, just keep gently going over it till it gets down to the effect that you want. have it as dark and light as you want it's up to you depending on what look you're going for and again as it's acrylic it dries quite quick as well and then we'll work, we'll work, work our magic on the middle piece now so on the letters on the letter just slowly build it up like we did the outside Again, this will dull down. So I'll get some paint on there. Now, I'll just dry my brush by just rubbing it on the paper. That take, takes most of the paint out of the brush. And then we'll just gently go over it and blend it all in. And then we're just about done. Not too difficult that, you can just whack, whack your brush around the edge. Get some paint on there. Now you can if you want the highlights a bit whiter, let it dry a little bit and then go back in and then build the white up again. If you want a lighter looking stone. Entirely up to you. Just make sure your details pop out a little bit more. Again, looks like you've spent absolutely ages meticulously painting this in when all you've done is just slapped a bit of paint on. Now it will dull down slightly, so if you want to let it dry and then go a little bit more white on at the end, that's entirely up to you. Then when this is fully dry, just mix some PVA glue with a bit of water. So it's two parts PVA to one part water. When it's totally dry, just give it a nice coat of that mixture. Otherwise, if you don't, the paints can rub off a little bit. And here we go. One stone effect. Turtle belt buckle badge. Quite simple, but looks very effective, I think. So thanks for watching. Remember, leave your comments below, like the clip, share the clip. Uh, and uh, find us on Facebook as well, on the same name, the Cardboard Prop Company. And I'll see you real soon for a new demo. Thank you. Thanks for watching. And have fun making one.